do do for some reason like i really miss the how good season one of sword art online was yeah because mostly because of the beginning music i also oh, just gosh. really miss how perfect attack on titan was <laughs> yeah like i just want more it was so good by the way you're a giraffe today woo <laughs> Welcome to the Gamer Jets Duo Podcast number 25. Eric is a giraffe, yes. and I am just a normal human being because I'm bored. I'm, you know I'm your bored. camera border, like, runs into your background on your stream? I don't know, it's something, something that's a thing. Yeah, because it's, yeah, because it's, uh, because it's, uh, green yeah. in the back. Yeah. I don't really <laughs> care because it's a, it's, it's a different shade of green, so it shows up, but it does blend a little bit, but... I do that differently yeah. on one. I have another um, scene where I am on the where I am on the 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 uh, green background, uh, duh, duh, the duh, green duh. texture like this. Um, yeah. But it's it's black to contrast it. But okay. because you're here with the red, I have to be green because that's how it works. We got to be color coded. Well, <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Welcome. Uh, <laughs> Uh, this is an entertainment podcast where we mostly talk about VG games, PlayStation, Destiny, superhero stoof. Uh, we didn't write our the trailers down in the thing. Oh wait, you did. You did. You wrote the trailers down. All right, superhero stuff, <laughs> comics. Yeah. Uh, that's mostly it. Uh, movie, TV. Talk a lot about TV. So, um, Eric, actually no, me. <laughs> I was gonna say, what have we been playing, and then we can oh. go into the normal thing. Um, I've been playing Destiny because patch one point two point zero, and yep. that's about it. I <laughs> I'm trying to think. I mean, I I don't. I legitimately don't know if there was anything else this week. I I don't think there actually was. <laughs> Which yeah. is crazy, because normally there's like something else at the beginning of right. the week or something. Uh, I nope. Really nope. Played anything out of the normal? I think I may have played Shovel Knight early in the week. Maybe. I think my camera is like sideways. <laughs> Your you, camera? Do you see it? Because the the table right here it is, is sideways. It is it's actually. Like this. It, it yeah. Your camera is like. Freaking! <laughs> that is really weird. It looks like an earthquake happened in your house. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. But yeah, I I may have played Shovel Knight earlier in the week. Uh, I played. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Destiny. I'll be. I really want to start playing some more stuff because I have so many good games, especially with the most recent Flash sale, which Tomb we'll talk about later. Um, but yeah, I not this week. I. I didn't really. I also didn't really have much time this week, so. You're not gonna have time I'm this week. Yeah, I'm not gonna have destiny. <laughs> exactly. I'm not gonna have. Even though I want to have time to play other stuff, Rip I'm not because expansion. <laughs> On Tuesday, dude, that is two days away. When we're gonna be able to play the new missions, the new prison yep. of elders, the trials of Osiris, like all of it, is two days away. Two. Two. I'm so. I'm so freaking excited. I'm I'm really, really the excited. The is real. Yes, the hype, as some call it. I don't call it that. It's effort that I just did, but, you know, but, it's whatever. Uh, <laughs> so what have you been playing? Um, I played a minuscule amount of Infamous First Light. Um, it's cool. I want to platinum it, of course. It's freaking awesome. Um, I'm actually downloading right now I'm I didn't really play it but I'm downloading Guacamelee and Ether 1 which was free on the PlayStation Still telling you should get Hohokum Still I I'll, I'll look at it but um yeah um mostly destiny grinding out those uh Ether chests <laughs> oh, I played man. a little bit of Bloodborne and what else I played 
something. Well, my internet's been like acting up this whole week. Like, if it goes down down right now for like thirty seconds, I wouldn't be surprised either. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, and during that time, I played like a bunch of Steam games on a row. So, I played as Audio Surf too. <laughs> Lots of Audio Surf. You're just I going played, for that Audio Surf plot. I played like an hour of Guild Wars too as well. So nice. So you have a lot, a lot more variety than I do in my life right now in games. <laughs> oh, also, somebody just joined our chat. Super Nath, hola, how are you doing today, sir? But we don't know. I'm trying not to talk to Twitch chat much because uh, I'll, I'll, I'll like mention them here and there. But there are people that will be listening to this in their car, on the podcast apps around the world. There will be people watching YouTube version later. But uh, yep. there's lots of different ways to watch this. So anybody so, yep. tuning in, that's why we're not talking too much to the chat. chat. specifically. Yeah. So that's what we've both been playing, which is a decent, a good good things for Eric. Not yeah. much for me, but Destiny is always a good thing. So GG. Um, what do we want to start off talking about? Do we want to, like, uh, knock out the easy news guess. articles and then get... Oh, Wow. I had no idea that's what we were going to be talking about here. Oh. <laughs> but we could knock out, like, the easy stuff and then finish yeah. with E3 because I, we, me and Eric are going to add an E3 prediction, each of us, to the uh, to our list. of. We both already have three each. We're going to add one. Have you thought of one yet? Because I've no, had one. For, I have no idea. I've had one for, like, Sorry. weeks that I've wanted to do this with. Because I would think that it would be on my list, but it's not on my list. Like, it's such a, yeah. a teddy thing that's just not there. Spoilers, it's Persona 4 Gold, oh. the teddy character. No, I'm just kidding. I, I, I have an idea of what it's going to be. So. Okay, all right, all right. All right. All right. All right. Okay, don't know what that sound was. <laughs> so, let's see. Let's talk about the fact that Xbox One outsold the PS4 in April. That's uh, pretty much surprised. all I wanted to talk about. <laughs> Do you I'm say not surprised. not surprised? Yeah, I'm not really surprised either. Product not getting because well. 350 for a pretty good console. Yeah. Yeah, the the 350 price range is like if if you are a person walking into Walmart and you're like, oh, let's get one of these new gen console with play the video games, play the Madden and the Call of Duty, and yeah. watch some Netflix. So, oh, oh, this casual. one's 350. All right, let's get this one. Like. And to be honest, people who are picking up consoles now, not, I'm, not all of them, but people who are picking up new-gen consoles now, the majority of them are uh, more, more casual people. Yeah. Not, not all of them. There, I'm sure there are some people that have been saving it's for not, a There's nothing like wrong that, with but... being casual, but if you're, there are games out there made for people who play more hardcore <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, it's, this the, is how it works. The people walking into Walmart aren't gonna be like, "Let me pick up my my Vita and my copy of Persona 4 Golden." Real, yeah, real with quick. my PS4 and my Bloodborne, you know. <laughs> yeah, no, they're they're walking in saying, "Let's get the Xbox and watch the Netflix and whatnot." Right. <laughs> Which is there's nothing wrong, but it's just uh that that definitely is why it has yeah. outsold the PS4 in April. So congrats think, to you, Microsoft. I think Xbox is like the FPS like you know the console for fps that a lot of people go to like when they hear when they think xbox like they, they think fps games yeah so people <laughs> I, yeah. I so i can see because you have halo call of duty and there's lots of them so i mean yeah, I, yeah. X, microsoft though is branching out to different games like um there's a lot of um third person action coming out for that Gears of War. Also. Yeah, Gears of War is also a very popular. Gears of War is in development right now, the new Gears. Yep. Which is freaking cool, which I will not be able to play, but you know, maybe one day, maybe. Dude, Gears of War, it's an awesome series. I know, I've I've always wanted to play it, but I um, can't. Like, you could probably, I mean, it's more, is nice having your your gun and then like slicing them up with the saw at the end of it, but still, I watched the. <laughs> I watched the third one on YouTube, and like it was like the saddest thing ever. Dude, so I have this article that says Mortal Kombat X was the top game for April, which is very cool. But yeah. I open it, and there's like a, a list of the top ten games for April, like not just Mortal Kombat, like top ten. I'm like, right. that's pretty awesome. So the top ten best-selling games in April, let's go over them. 
Mortal Kombat X for the PS4 and Xbox One. They did not yeah. include PC in that list, which is interesting. Yeah. GTA 5, PS4, Xbox One, PC, PS3, Xbox 360. Some of these games is like, there's so many platforms they're on. <laughs> there's there's a huge chance that they're going to sell a lot. Um, right. Battlefield Hardline was number three, which Real. is interesting. Um, MLB 15, the show. See, these are the, these are the casual people who know what I'm saying. Minecraft. <laughs> Jay Money. Which is <laughs> Jay Money's not casual. He just I he, feel like he's a more hardcore person that just likes baseball. Um Mine Minecraft. <laughs> the PS4, X Bone, really? PS3 and 360. Is Minecraft is the best is in the top ten best selling games every month. Oh well yeah. Every month, dude. It, That's, Minecraft can crazy. To sell. Minecraft is just it can swimming in the money. To sell. Yeah, freaking freaking not dude. He's swimming in his in his well, uh notch left mansion. Did the career or the job? Or I'm sure he still theory. gets some revenue from Minecraft. And if not, he's still swimming well, he in money. Well, he sold Mojang to Microsoft and then left. Yeah, well, yeah, that's true. So Microsoft is getting all this revenue, but that they don't need. But <laughs> Notch is getting all the revenue from the I'm selling sure Minecraft for like two billion dollars. So. Right. GG. So he's pretty well set. Yeah, and then the next ones are NBA 2K15, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin, oh, yeah. Super Smash Bros. for the 3DS and the Wii U, and then uh, Borderlands The Handsome Collection. Interesting game list. I, I like seeing that. I like seeing that. Yeah. I don't know. I like seeing the, uh, the best-selling games. Crap, I just did something on the Google Doc. Nothing happened. It's fixed. <laughs> The beautiful, un the power of the undo button is <laughs> quite amazing. Uh, yo, let's see. What do you want to talk about? Um, on my list or your there. list? It's my, on Xbox One, uh, the closed beta has begun. Begun. Jelly. Yeah, it's not That's the uh, cool. alpha. It was in alpha for a while, but I think they were mostly testing, like, network stuff, you know? Yeah. Because it was apparently pretty, like, Grunt has been playing it nonstop. He he really likes it, and I would too if I not really. I wouldn't be playing it nonstop, but I I would definitely play it a decent amount More. if it was on PS4. But it's not. So congrats to all you Xbox One owners out there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Wild Star. Yeah. I, you um. What what do you call it? Wildstar is changing its business model in business August. Business model, that's the word I was thinking. I am very excited to hear about this. I'm excited, but kind of sad at the same time. I'm not sad. Free-to-play does not mean that something is dying. No, I'm not saying you know that. What I'm I mean? saying that I wish it did better so that it didn't have to be free-to-play. Yeah. The, the common because it was a good perception game. is just everyone's like, Oh, free-to-play. Oh, it's dying. Oh it's, oh, it's the worst. Like... Free to play is a good model. Like I, I fully think that I fully like the free to play model. Pay, I really like that for DC. Pay universe, to play. It's freaking awesome. Um, not pay to play, but like pay once to Actually, play is a good, is the good model. Yeah, but I cha I take that back. I only like free to play models when there is a subscription with it. As in, like you get to play this game and then you get to see these more features and this and this if you do a subscription. And I'm like, yeah, all right. It's like that, a really good entry point, and then it's that's a just a normal MMO. With um, Schroeder, uh, Star Wars. Yeah. Uh, because like after level ten, the XP increase or de is decreased to like none, barely any. Yeah. So it takes months to to level up. That is. Yeah, that's freaking uncalled weird. Uncalled for. In DC Universe, play, it's yeah, like. So. Yeah, in DC Universe, though, it's like the limitations are like DLCs and like money, like how much money you can hold yeah. and freaking that's also a thing in Twitter but um, yeah, I feel much. like if it's free to play it shouldn't affect your gameplay in big ways like that yeah like okay sure um, maybe money you can hold that's not too Inventory big of a deal. Inventory space. Inventory space can be problematic, but usually you can sell junk and move, continue on with your life. But XP decrease—that is no. I, I, I can't. 
That's ridiculous. Yeah. Especially with all the grinding you already do, you know? So, yeah, that's, why you, that's odd. Yeah, and also, <clears throat> Uncharted 3 with their um, hats with bonuses. That's, that's something else. Yeah. Things you can buy that give you... Um, yeah. No. Yeah, that's the freaking worst. People need to not do that. But uh, let's see. Let's find a quote here. The plan is to is for content to stay at the quarterly cycles that they are now. We have soft and hard locks for everything. That should not change. However, we are losing employees left and right. As in, people are, like, leaving. They're not, like, being fired or anything. People are, like, going elsewhere. So, that's a... Yeah. I don't know. It's a bummer. But, but the, the thing the is... Wildstar, I'd like to play, but, like, it's also an MMO. It's like jumping into Destiny right now. You know what I mean? And I yeah. don't have all these exotic guns, and I and everyone else is at a higher content. You know, you know it's, it's if fine. you think about it, mate, we have yet to get to endgame content in an MMO. It's sad. I have. I consider Destiny, and I consider DC Universe. And, uh, no, I'm talking about like a traditional MMO, third person. DC Universe is still fairly traditional. Okay, well, I mean, maybe but it's, DC. For but it's person. quicker. It's a it's a quicker uh, leveling. Like we were really close to getting it in WoW. <laughs> we were. <laughs> we get to like seventy something. Yeah, uh, I don't know if that's. Consistent. And then the grind just like hit us right in the, the brain. Yeah, and it. Died. It's like normal, and then and then you're I think playing the poem is, for like, like weeks without. Apparently, leveling. you're supposed to just do dungeons until you're max level. Yeah, uh, I ain't about that life. Well, I mean, every level you get a new dungeon, almost. So. Yeah, like, we. I remember I used to try and do the new dungeon, you know, each time I got right. I unlocked one. Like, at least once, but I, I'm not just going to do dungeons. Yeah. Voice crack, holy balls. Uh. <laughs> All right, so. The Division. <laughs> the Division. The Division is a game by Ubisoft um, that is... Similar to de to uh, to Destiny in how it works, as in like it's an always online type of thing. It's yeah. going to be similar to an MMO, we'll have but not integration near. with like tablets and stuff. Which is yeah, really dude, I'm excited to see more of this game. But I want them to like go over this really hard because I I want this to be like a cool thing. It would be really cool to have a, a third person shooter. I, I'm I'm totally looking forward to this. Like this this looks awesome, but they really haven't talked too much about it. The engine they've they have is showed, awesome. The snowdrop engine. Yeah, they've showed the engine and they've showed like a vertical slice of gameplay, and then but that was like a year ago, and the game's not coming out until Q1 2016. So the official game maybe, is gonna look a lot different than that. I'm thinking maybe like they delayed it because they're like. Hmm. There, this thing is wrong. We need to fix this, and we need to do better in our games because reasons. I think they're delaying it because it's not done. Yeah. If, our, if you were to ask me, because they showed it off like last year, and like and and Destiny, for example, as an MMO type of thing, took like five years to make. So they, there's it's, a lot okay. to do. You know what I mean? Um, Destiny was started on because there was a teaser of it in yes, Halo yes. 03 ODST. E exactly. So yes. 2009. Exactly. Five years. Which yep. is crazy. It, like, a little bit more, too. Well, no, not more because 2015, but 2014. <laughs> yeah. But, it, yeah, so I, I don't... I don't think they're like, oh, we gotta take six months to, or more than six months to fix this bug here. Like, if they, right. if they still got a year left, they're they're still making the game, which is cool. But I don't know. I, I'm I'm all for uh, game more delays. More time so. Yeah, whenever I see a game delay, I'm just like, all right, all right. that's cool. <laughs> I'll buy it when it comes out, and hopefully it'll be better than it would have been if it was released three months earlier. You know. Yep. So, is there anything on your topic list that you want to talk about before we talk about E3? Um, E3, man, it's coming up. Uh, yeah, when you're talking about Assassin's Creed oh my gosh. Syndicate. I, I, I'm just going to let you talk about Assassin's Creed. All right. Because I don't want to. I don't want to. So, when they revealed it last week, I don't know, it was actually. I can't even duck behind the camera. I can't remember when. Um,. When it, they did the reveal, but it was last week. Yeah, 
Uh, it was like last uh, Tuesday, maybe? Yeah, something like that. I can't remember. But anyway, they uh, revealed the new Assassin's Creed for this year, and uh, I say that because it feels like they're doing yearly releases. Well, that's, <laughs> it does feel like that because they are. <laughs> because Assassin's Creed is an annualized fan. Rip. franchise. Um, well, anyway, the, apparently, um, at the beginning of the reveal, they just, like, admitted their mistake um, with Unity. They were just like, it didn't meet the fans' expectations, and it was, we pushed it out thoroughly, and it was, it was a crap pile of crap um <laughs> i would love to see some like ubisoft executive producer ceo that's say. like our product was a pile, pile of crap, of crap. <laughs> and it just was staking up the room and we had to get it out yeah <laughs> but um anyway this is it's set in if i can remember the date right 1986 if i'm right on that i'll, I'll be surprised um, but anyway, it's going to be in an industrial era, which is, I think it's a cool era. I've always wanted a game in that era, because it's kind of where uh, up close and personal um, fisticuffs <laughs> is uh, the way of fighting back then. Instead, of, I mean, of course you had guns and um, small firearms, but um, back then, well, of course, in that, in that time, you can't carry around giant swords and crap. So instead of having giant swords on your belt, you have different um, types of handheld, smaller weapons uh, that can fit inside like a, a coat or something. So it's, it's an interesting concept. I like the time period. Um, but it's all, the problem with it, now that I've reviewed it, it's kind of similar to AC Unity, where you're a dude who's very angsty, who wants to go against <laughs> the pow some higher power. That is probably controlled by the Templars, which is okay, but the whole revolution thing is weird. But yeah. anyway, I I'm not gonna get into uh, my opinions on Assassin's Creed. If you want to know my opinions on Assassin's Creed, I will make like a 30 minute freaking video. But <laughs> if anyone wants to know, tweet at me at tbsec or comment Just on the say YouTube video. In or like something. five seconds. I cannot do that. <laughs> it, okay. I, I can I can summarize. I can say it in, I can say it in two words. Okay. Your opinion. Modern story. There you go. Sure. He wants a modern story, and there's they feel like they're not going to do anything about it anymore because they just given but up it's... on the modern story. Apparently. Okay, that's, that's a decent summary. It's yeah, we'll leave it at that. But if anyone wants to know the full <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. All right. <laughs> Do you wanna you wanna talk about Mad Max, the thing that you uh, sort yeah. of know about, or I can, um uh, looked into we... Mad Max a little, um the, the game and the movie. I'll, I didn't look into much in the movie, but I, I heard it just it's a continuation or a reboot of some sort. <clears throat> but I I've think heard it's a continuation from what I've okay. heard. But anyway, it's apparently super good. Um, and yeah, it the movie true was like awesome. To, yeah. From what I yeah. Heard. Um, and the game is supposed to be just uh, an adaptation of it, and um, it's it's gonna work like the Batman games, and uh, a, you know, it's gonna be post-apocalyptic, free roam. So it's gonna be like a mix of I'm gonna think Borderlands and Batman Arkham, the Arkham games. So it looks. More similar to Shadow of Mordor than anything else. Like, yeah, I, yeah, I can see that. I am, I just want to play the game. The gameplay trailer is really cool. That's all I know. And yeah. I was like, I wish I knew more about this, I but like, I don't. I like the uh, universe that they've set up. So. Yeah, that, that I don't know anything about. <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe I'll Google and see if the... There's apparently like two movies before this or something. See if they're on Netflix. Because if they are on Netflix, I'm definitely watching them. Um, <laughs> oh gosh. You want to watch the, the two trailers that came out this week? You can just watch them. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we got time. Been to the trailer, though. We actually do oh. have time. Like, we've been blowing through these topics. Just I uh, put the trailer for AC Union. You didn't even watch it. Or not you. Oh. AC. I may have, Whatever. I may have deleted it. I, I have it right here. <laughs> if you wanna do you, you want to watch that, too? Yeah, Because I'm cool. done. I'll put it down right here. 
<laughs> all right, all right. This is uh, <laughs> great stuff for the audio listeners, but they don't really care because freaking, like you you unless other than the Assassin's Creed trailer, like the movie, the the Legends of Tomorrow and the uh, Supergirl one. You can very much tell what's going on with audio. You can probably even tell what's going on with uh, audio in this one. If you were to, uh, if I were to guess. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me, uh... We can probably just say some things that go on afterwards. Yeah. Also, uh, welcome to the, uh, welcome to the stream, Reckless. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's Didn't see. Didn't already know we were, were streaming. If you, like, skipped ahead in the podcast, maybe. We're streaming <laughs> this. Yeah. Uh, if you skipped ahead in the podcast, you're really yeah. missing stuff. All right. Um, yeah. I have it up. Let me switch the layouts because I'm professional and can do that. Actually, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, wait just one minute. And before my camera is like way off center. <laughs> it, oh, what, it, what if it is, dude? It should be fine. It should be fine. I'm should. Gonna, keyword. Should be. All right, then there we go, and let's go over here, and then move it to that, and there we are, and yeah. full screen, and play. I need to play it a bit louder than I normally do for the uh, thing. It's the Assassin's Creed Syndicate trailer. I'm really aware. Ubisoft. 1868, I was right. No, you, nine, you said 1960. A oh. hundred years. An age of invention. So many clever blokes dreaming up impossible machines. Sorting away more gold than Queen Victoria herself. But none of those shillings ever makes it into the pockets of the poor devils whose blood is spilled building this glorious empire. The working class sleepwalks through life unaware of the machine that drives them. Let's wake them up then, shall we? They always have really awesome music. Yeah. In AC trailers. We should just watch the Revelations trailer for no reason. <laughs> it's like one of my favorite trailers ever. This is pretty sweet though. I like the music a lot. Yeah. So apparently, you can go from top hat to hood for like stealth mode and stuff. Yeah. I saw that and I was like, that's kind of dumb, but. Dude, it's freaking top hat. It's not dumb. Where does he put the top hat? When he coat. takes it off. You, you just put a full size hat in your coat? Yes. <laughs> totally. I, I mean, that shouldn't bug me at all because people put rocket launchers in their butthole, but. <laughs> that's an awesome trailer. Yeah. It's a really good trailer. I actually hadn't seen that one. I had seen like the little 30 second one and then I saw the 9 gameplay. whatever gameplay. Yeah. Gameplay uh, thang, rang, base wub. But pretty much <laughs> they showed some of the um, gang gameplay and stuff that you can do in the city. It's it's interesting. So. The only thing gameplay wise, I'm not going to talk about why I really hate this, but the only thing gameplay wise that I very much am <laughs> weirded out by more than anything is the gosh dang carriage <laughs> when oh. you're <laughs> when you're in a carriage you can basically just control it and like which you know that's fine but you may ba <laughs> you basically can just like run over civilians and like plow through buildings <laughs> and it's like <laughs> i didn't see that yeah you're like, driving you're, like, you're like driving around smashing into the side of buildings like you're a freaking car it's it's, it's like legitimately GTA, like you're yeah it's like GTA it's but kind of funny, on a horse yeah. it's hilarious I'm like what is going on oh it's man a, it's different for AC so if we have time we should legitimately watch the Revelations <laughs> <laughs> uh all right let's uh let's what do you want to watch first Super or Le let's watch Legends um, I'm gonna need a link oh well, I'm just gonna okay. type in Legends of Tomorrow trailer yeah. um yeah let's do that one first. Hold on it, End with the uh, very interesting <laughs> Supergirl one. You might just watch it without me. Because someone's knocking at my door. Oh. Okay. Alright. Well, we can still see his camera. Oh, GG. Oh. 
just it's just you and me now, kids. Hey, how, how you doing today? You doing good? I'm doing good. All right. <coughs> oh gosh, I'm dying. All right. Uh, let's see here. Let's find the trailer for Legends of Tomorrow. Yeah, let's watch it. Uh, let's watch it without Eric, unless he gets back, and then he can uh, pick up where we were. All right, let's go. Let's do this. This trailer is freaking. No. Yeah. Uh... Actually, you know what? Let's see if there are any topics on the on the DAC that I can cover with uh, without him. There are not. Guess like guess, it looks like we're watching the trailer. And here we go. Don't watch this if you haven't spoilers if you haven't seen Arrow or Flash. If you're not alone, caught up. And I had every intention of keeping it that way. Had a plan. Life had a different one. And then things just got stranger. <laughs> oh man, it's so good. What's happening to me? The flash is so good right now. Arrow was awful. truth is that sometimes we're not enough sometimes the world needs a team you call this a team this is so good hot girl is chilling out hot girl <laughs> flying through the city a deceased assassin. Sarah you know it's you know coming back to life not a big deal a pair of criminals. Captain Cold and Heat Wave. And a billionaire with more tech than he And then Ray Palmer. To do with. I know exactly what to do. Who with blew it. up. <laughs> Spoilers. Most of the time. And I'm a half a hero, and my other half is combustible. What you're up against is bigger than all of us, which is why it's going to take all of you. His name is Vandal Savage. He's Big name in DC lore. Oh, he oh. Is he is back. Er Eric is back. I almost just called you Firestorm. Arrow. I almost just called you Arrow. I'm like, Arrow is back. Oh, nope. <laughs> so, oh, <laughs> you want to pick up where I uh, where I was? I'll send no, you a... That's good. No, here. I haven't finished the trailer. Where'd you even send that? So yeah, I can you can pick up at 151, <laughs> and we can just keep going. You've already seen it. Yeah. All right, go. Boom. The most powerful army the world has ever seen. And Mushroom cloud. <laughs> because one day you Sarah's do. still Rory. high. I'm from East London. Oh, and the future. I love that I he's legitimately masters. like a time traveler. That's the best. Itself. So, like, so meta. Yeah, it's super meta. You people become a team. The music is freaking good. Firestorm and Ray flying side by side. Savage's evil spans the course of history, so we will have to travel through time to stop him. It's such an awesome parry pairing. Yeah, I. You know, when I originally heard the pairing, I'm like, this is dumb. What are they going to do with this? And then it's like, this totally makes sense. This is awesome. After seeing the trailer. That's the worst Savage can throw at us? Wait, we got this thing I even realized. I thought Barry that? wasn't even in this. No, nah, he's in, He's going to be in it every now and then. Yeah, I, mean, I knew that, but he's like, not I didn't a really character. I'm a hero. Well, you're not. In, in the future, at all. none of you are heroes. This part's well, awesome. Your legends. Oh, mate. I bet you Flashpoint happens in the finale. So, you weren't uh, dead? I gotta nope. know. Because... Small. Oh, this part is so cool. Yeah, it's so weird though. Like I laughed right. a little. 
Just it's awesome. Watch. This is what Ooh. everyone has been waiting for. They're like, why is he this Iron Man knockoff? And now he's officially the Atom. Legitimately the Atom. Uh, so is. good. That was so, that's such an awesome trailer. Because one of my favorite parts about the Flaro universe is the fact that Flash has his like own theme song. And Arrow has yeah. his own theme, own and digital, Ray digital, has digital, his digital, own digital. theme, and like throughout that whole trailer, they like there was a part where Arrow was d there and it was playing the Arrow music, and then it went, to, and then he's like, and things just got stranger, and it showed Barry getting hit by lightning, and it started doing the Flash theme, and I'm, and then Ray was flying, and it was doing the Ray music, right. and it's awesome because they're all really unique, and like just seem to fit the character. Dude, the ending music for um, Flash. Episodes are it's awesome. Oh, dude. Beep, beep. It's so and it's like weird. they got the strings and everything. Uh, the music for these shows is underrated. If yeah. if 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 we're these gonna OSGs. use the word that you hate, very yeah. underrated because it's freaking. Well, okay, really underrated weird. is okay. Overrated. Yeah. Overrated is overrated. Yeah, overrated is a dumb word, but underrated makes sense as you know as a word because it's yes, like freaking. It doesn't yeah. have enough publicity. Yeah. Saying something has too much publicity, so... You gotta show some stuff off. There is the Supergirl trailer. Oh, yes. <laughs> this trailer is so dumb. All right, all right, we're gonna watch it, though. We're gonna watch all six minutes of Sorry, it. Sorry, uh, you uh, audio listeners. More, <laughs> more stuff. This one is more... This one is more... Um, you can... Talking. Yeah, more vocal. Yeah, this one's more talking than uh, Legends of Tomorrow. Legends of Tomorrow was mostly just like uh, action. It, it was like speaking, but also flying and boop. <laughs> you know, this is a, this is the breakdown here. Boop, flying. Boop. Yep, that's exactly what Freeze just gun. happened that you guys missed. Um, explosions. <laughs> oh, I'm so fast. <laughs> that's Barry, <laughs> by the way. Yep. yep. <laughs> and Oliver's just like <laughs> time travel. Rory. Oh, so serious. Sorry. Meta. Doctor Who meta. Necklace says audio Because Barrowman. <laughs> and it's crazy. Barrowman is the best, dude. How awesome was that Merlin plot twist? We'll, we'll talk oh, about yeah. that in a minute. Let's go through this trailer, and then uh, we can talk about Aaron Flash, I guess. Yeah. Unless there's anything else. Let me check. I don't think there is. No. Oh, Destiny and E3, actually. And then we well, can yeah. Aaron Flash. All right. Uh, I'm on. I'm queued up. Yeah, I'm. I'm there. Let's All go. All right, let's go. I need to count down this time. My name <laughs> is Kara Zorel. Twenty-four <laughs> years ago, my planet also, was in peril. Also, Kara. My cousin Kalel was sent to a planet called Earth. You may know his story, but you don't know mine. I have so many Earth, complaints. Earth, you will do this. extraordinary things. Until but now. I have a lot of positives with it too. I love you. It's like not all bad. Okay. I actually didn't see that one because it was in like horrible. Form. Like right here, it's music switch to. The coffee in hand, phone. But, um, I was wondering if maybe you were in a good mood. I can't. I I'm sorry. I have a date. 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 Mm -hmm. Fine. Yeah. Dating like, is fine. Cool. She's here. How do you do that? The clapping. The only reason I bought this oh. building was because oh, I'm on the wrong the elevator. That way, I don't. I was on the wrong thing the whole time. Gosh, I'm so sorry. Did. I was waiting for you to change it. Well, it didn't happen. Oh well. It's all been crap. <laughs> you don't need to see it. That'll be new and different. Here it Hello? actually is. I've My bad, people. The man you bought, of course. Yeah. And, uh, Only because it was the first real shot of a little secret. He actually posed for that. Guess he likes me. Oh my God! You're Jimmy Olsen, the oh, photographer that... from the Daily Planet. James Olsen. This music. Jimmy's a big character in Superman lore, by the way. God. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. Kara. Wow. This freaking music, though. I have a conference in Geneva, and I need to be on a plane in two hours. I have a blind and date that. in half an hour, and I need you to help me pick out what to wear. And this. I have a date. A blind date. Sure you love me. I feel like I'm not living up to my potential. I just fetch layouts and coffee. You always wanted to be normal. This is what normal looks like. I'm not normal. I can lift a bus, stop a bullet, Alex. I can fly. At least I think I can. The clapping. Stop. <laughs> yeah. Stop. What are you doing? The music gets okay right here. Did he say Geneva? I mean, like 
there's so there's a lot of positives, but like, like this part's pretty freaking cool. Yeah, like she's kind of cool. just trying. She doesn't even know freaking what to do. It's great. Trying to catch an airplane, by the way, for you are are you listeners? Yeah. You know, just picking an airplane up while it's crashing, not a big deal. NBD. The music is very uh Superman esque, but like yeah. not the generic normal Superman theme. And then this, this, right music, this music isn't you awful. It's about to get worse. You're though. out there now, Kara. Everyone it's will still not very good. And you no, can't it. take that back. I, I don't want to. I hear a triangle. I Stop. hear bells, yeah. That triangle, get out of here. <laughs> You're not a real instrument. <laughs> didn't. Shouldn't you be called Super Woman? What do you think is so bad about girl? I'm a girl. And your boss. And of course she's. It, this is like freaking Spider-Man. Rich and hot and, and she's smart. a reporter, right? So if you then, perceive Supergirl as anything less than I mean, excellent, yeah. isn't the real problem you? Kara, I'm going to tell you something about me that for most of my life I've run from it. But last night, you just spoiled the whole season for us right here. Yeah. Oh my but this isn't God, even the pilot. Oh, Kara, that's why you're you not into me. This is this is this is great news. This I part was pretty funny. I'm her. <laughs> The woman who saved the plane. <laughs> okay, <laughs> right. Carl, what are you the doing? music, right? No. Uh, yeah, the music's I, awful. Carl! But she legitimately just like fell off a building. It's like, <laughs> see you later. You're her. Yep. And then this. This. This no. is awful. That's this thing. not all. Where's my cape? <laughs> Catch your lane. I'll tell your cousin I said so. Actually, never, never do that. <clears throat> so. To be a superhero, you need a crime. There's a car chase on the 112 freeway. I could do a car chase. Uh, <laughs> a it's like a bad Teen Titans. They should have thought of that. West National City Music. Bank. Suspects are armed and dangerous. You, uh, you sure you're bulletproof? Hope so. Ah, here. It's still here. Right. Well, she's getting really shot at. Structured oh. polymer composite is much sturdier than... And, uh... <laughs> this one has the... It's not this. There's no news. Just like your cousin. It's not an S. <laughs> it's my family's coat of arms. The House of Apparently Al that is actually accurate too. Yes. Like Superman's Welcome death, to but... the Department of But still, it's an S as well. The DEO monitors and protects Earth from extraterrestrial presence. These beings, some of them are powers from your darkest okay. this is cool. Yeah, this is freaking cool. Stop them. I don't trust aliens. You want to help? Go back to getting someone's coffee. Wrecked. <laughs> and then it's like super sad what music. <laughs> he told oh, me to get so coffee. <laughs> so what do we do now? First things first. I'm get sure the coffee. the you need to change. Oh my gosh. This is my uh, I didn't travel this two thousand right, no. light years just to be an assistant. People of this city will die. I mean, the action in the video is good, but the music no, stop. Not a bird. Wait for it. It's not a plane. Not a plane or a van. Wait. Bam. It's not a van. My cousin wanted me to do this. Why did he just tell me? Because he wanted you to choose it for yourself. Same way he did. Here, from him. Also, it seems like everyone already knows. <laughs> It's the You're blanket right. he was wrapped in when he was a baby. Apparently, this cape won't shred. Maybe this. Now, maybe people thought she had a penis, you know? You know <laughs> what? Up and away. <laughs> All right. Well, that was something, <laughs> wasn't it? Just Some... something. Something special, if you ask me. The first comment. This wow. This is almost painful to watch. Well. Wow. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty good summarization of it. Yeah, I I just okay, Th they could fix this. It's just why so much focus, and uh, I don't know. The Taysen, one of our friends, was talking to us on PlayStation, and they were like, 
Um, he he said that um, most shows, you know, expresses masculinity. Why can't some shows just express feminine? Uh, feminine? I don't know. I don't freaking know the word. Now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Feminism, I guess you could say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's right. And it, it's it's like they can, but I don't want to watch that. Like if like, they're that's gonna, not like, my thing, and it's it's a superhero show though. It, and it's it, supposed to be know. a strong, like freaking legit. Yeah. Freaking let's go. My thing was let's like go. he he was, you don't have to fo- focus on being you know a, a woman like you don't have to make that at the forefront to have strong female characters. Like yeah. the one hundred. Is freaking really strong, oh, awesome, really? well yeah, developed like freaking... characters that are female, and but awesome. like they, they, I don't know. You don't have to like focus on like these women are strong and independent. They're not they're men. Not black. <laughs> I love how you said that and immediately looked over like somebody had heard it, and you're like, I didn't say anything. <laughs> uh, I, li- I like long trailers though. I li- I like yeah. long trailers. Freaking. I don't think you guys remember the flash trailer was like five minutes and that wasn't yeah. even the, that. And that was just the pilot. Everyone's like, Oh, this true. So long. I, I, I've watched so much. Like you've watched five minutes of a 50 minute episode yeah. and like all jumbled around. Oh man. But they can definitely improve. I, I, I just, I don't know. I hope they improve. I, I, get, I, I also, for, where's, um, the guy who makes the destiny music. Come on. <laughs> I like the Supergirl music though. That was good. Not not like the you know the what uh, 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 no, yeah, yeah yeah. <laughs> I like the actual like the, the her... plane music. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, that's good. <sighs> Someone to call. Do we want to? Oh, sorry. Legit though. Why isn't she Superwoman? It's <laughs> a good point. <laughs> well, I... I don't know. That's a... I I don't know. Supergirl in because the... there is a Superwoman. I thought. No, I don't think so. Nah, it's just, it's Superman, Supergirl, and Superboy. Cal, uh, Connor, Kara, and kal Those Those yeah. three. And Connor is not even a Kryptonian legitimately. Connor's the a freaking clone. The closest thing to clone. Superwoman would be Wonder Woman, but it's, it's yeah. not the same. Well, if they get married one day, then <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Anyways. So do we want to talk about <laughs> E3? Or Destiny, what should we save until last? Oh, you wanted to talk about Supernatural. Um, well, that's part of our show. Yeah, I just wanted yeah that we can there talk about that with uh, during the TV. Um, so, E3 or Destiny? What do you think first? Um, E3 and Destiny. All right. TV. All right. <laughs> I like this. So, E3, Sony has revealed information of their official press conference. Which is freaking awesome. Bethesda Sunday. Yeah, Bethesda Sunday here. They re- and there's also times for all the others, which is good. Oh, so I'm grabbing a water. Okay, he's grabbing his water. Everybody, oh, the pro plays. All right. All right. Um, <laughs> so Sunday, June 14th, Bethesda is opening at uh. This isn't all the conferences, by the way. Like um. Actually, yes, it is. Never mind. I just thought Square Enix was on Sunday instead, but it's on uh, Tuesday. Anyways, um, this should be all of them. Bethesda is at 7 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time, which is – or actually, PT is not Pacific Standard Time, isn't it? That's something different. Um, I don't know. Um, but 10 Eastern, which is more widely known uh, time zone. Uh, 10 Eastern, which is uh, 9 Central. Eight for me and then the next day monday june 15th microsoft is at 12 30 eastern ea is at four eastern um ubisoft is at six eastern and then sony is at nine eastern which is eight central which is the one i'm going to be watching to be sure to watch live i am most likely going to watch all of them live but you get what i mean (laughs) like dude oh wait 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 I almost forgot a day. Tuesday, June sixteenth, Nintendo is actually having a conference at uh, twelve p.m. Eastern, and then Square Enix at one p.m. Eastern, and the PC gaming show, which is like 
just a hodgepodge of different developers and whatnot, um, which is at 8 p.m. Eastern. There is a typo in this article. All right. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, dude, freaking E3. It is It is coming upon us. I am very excited. Yeah. And I have another great. prediction to make. What's your prediction? My prediction is that during the Sony press conference, they will, of course, show more Uncharted 4, but that's not part of the prediction. The prediction is officially that they will announce a Uncharted HD collection for... Oh gosh, the, is that is that mm. the one that you were going to say? No, no. Okay, good. They will announce an Uncharted uh, HD remastered it. trilogy collection want for the PS4 to be released in the fall. That is my official E3 prediction. And I also, I like sorry to anyone in the Twitch chat right now, my chat is not, like, loading for some weird reason. It's freaking weird. I'm going to refresh the page. Anyways. This is in here. Yeah, I'm going to, um, I'm going to write it down. I'm going <clears> to <throat> officially, like, mark this as our predictions. Yeah. So we can see who wins <laughs> when it actually Who gets them. the most right. I think that's how it should be. Yeah, but when we um when we I already once, got one of my right. <laughs> once yours, what did you get? Oh, Battlefront. Frick! Actually, no, that's freaking wrong. Cause you didn't get that at E3. You got it earlier. <laughs> <laughs> this is an E3 prediction list, right? Yes. No, that we're talking about gameplay, like exactly. Play. Oh well, yeah, I guess because they probably Game will show game. more gameplay. This this prediction does not say E3 or er, Battlefront gameplay premiere, just says gameplay. So GG, you definitely got that because they'll probably show more. Yeah, they've already they've already uh, said it on their tw or their Instagram that they're gonna show gameplay. <sighs> Frick, man. So you're you're already. I'm right, I'm ahead. So I'm we'll go over these once you give us your prediction, your okay. new one. Dark Souls 3. I feel like... Dang. With uh, the new role, they're on a... From Software is on a roll with uh, Bloodborne and then yeah. the re-release of Dark Souls 2 on next gen. So, I feel like they could successfully announce it and have a pretty good release, maybe their early 2016, maybe. My question is, will, do you think they will announce it during the Sony conference? What conference do you think this will happen in? Because Bloodborne was officially mm. like a PlayStation exclusive, but all the, all, all the Dark Souls was were kind of just like multi-platform stuff. Yeah, that's true. Do you think they could go the route like, uh, like Destiny where it's like multi-platform, but you got some little bit of exclusiveness yeah, for like, PlayStation? Yeah, like, yeah. Okay. Or so it could be wrong, and they could just go full PS4 exclusive exclusivity. So you're not everyone has PS4s now <laughs> because of Bloodborne. So you're not going to be risky and add the uh, the date the press conference. Uh, if you were no, real I'm, ballsy, you're. I'm not. I'm just going to say Dark Souls Three. Nothing else. See, I I've been think... I've been super ballsy. I've been adding specific stuff. You know. Yeah, I'm. I don't Dang think it. if we if if it even pops up. I don't even know what. Actually, I think you should. You should. I, I think you should give a release window. For what okay. what you think. I mean, if they don't give a release window, that's fine. But if they do, then. Uh, what? If that's... I were to guess, I would say Q2 2016. Yeah. At, well, no, Q4, actually. Because quarter. Like the fall. 2016. Yeah. All right, all right. So let's go over them real quick. Uh, we have four E3 predictions from each of us. Um, my first one is that Bethesda will announce a new IP at their E3 conference and I, Fallout I 4. I fully agree with that. That is that is a pretty. But uh, I also though. think pretty strong. Along with Bethesda releasing, if it's on a new IP, it's going to be Dishonored 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm just. That's why this is. Uh, this is pretty ballsy. Like they have yeah, so is. many franchises that I was like a new IP and Fallout. 
I'm telling you, man. If they don't really, if they don't announce Fallout Four, and people will okay, you've already won. You've already won Persona Five. That get get that. In but there. no, I, that's not. Okay. No, that's definitely not an official win. The next one is Persona Five Japanese release date. I didn't even say Western release date. I said for Japan. Mm. I really hope there's a Western one, but I don't know if we'll get it. I hope we do. I freaking want to see more about Persona Five. Guerrilla Games. I think they're going to announce their new IP. I think it's time. We've heard rumors. Guerrilla Games and people who work on Killzone. Would they make Killzone? Okay. The, they ha- there have been rumors that they are making an open world RPG, and there have been rumors l- about this for like three years now. <laughs> and all that's out there is concept art. Like I can find c- concept art to show people real quick that leaked. Mm. Uh, yeah, I type in Guerrilla Games, and the first autofill that comes up is new IP. So people right. are very. I'm very curious about this. Here, this this one concept art photo is really cool, and it makes me very interested as to what this game is. Here, let me uh, open the image. If it'll actually work, <clears throat> which it's not. Here's here's a blurry version of it for the stream because it's not. As you can see, it's not loading. Oh well. Um, oh, here's this one. This one's kind of cool. Like it, it's it's like freaking dinosaurs and guns, but like tribal. Hmm. There's a good one. I don't know, man. This looks freaking where, where sick. Are you, I, uh, where are you seeing these? Okay, okay, seeing the on your stream. Wow. Yeah, the looks. That that's one. a really interesting it's all super blurry and I that's really cool i like the sh- yeah the stuff in the background i really want to know more about that and i i think it's time i think they'll announce it I, this isn't I my just... official prediction my official prediction is that they'll announce it but i think they'll announce it and give a release date for like this fall how how awesome would that be um this is coming oh, out geez. and no <laughs> Not, and you can download it now, like PT. No, dude, that's what they did with freaking Destiny Alpha. It was the best thing ever. Yep. Um, Bam. here's Destiny Alpha right now. Bam. Yep. Um, yeah, and then I had my newest one about the Uncharted trilogy for the PS4. Eric's, uh, he he's got some decent ones. Uh, yeah, I already guessed uh, Battlefront gameplay from EA or Dice and Dice. <clears throat> And, um, yeah, they've already confirmed that on their Instagram. So he already um, is winning. <laughs> no Man's Sky release date. I pretty, I feel pretty good about that one. Pretty safe assumption. I'm not sure that I agree about this. But I feel like it's going to take a while for it to... Uh... Yeah, it's nowhere close. It, that game is nowhere close to done. The reason I don't agree with this prediction is because the... Sean Murray, one of the developers, the guy who has gone up and talked about the um, No Man's Sky at conferences, has said that he does not want to go to any conferences with this game. He does not want to talk about this game anymore until it is closer to release. People think that it's like this year, and it's he, he says it's like nowhere close. Like, it might not even be next year. And, like, people are super excited for it, and he, he doesn't want to wants to just chill with the excitement because it's a ways away. <laughs> you know? What else we got? Um, I got Destiny, the um, I'm going to change that. Um, oh, yeah, because it's uh, not common anymore. It's the Taken King. I'm just going to, I'm not even sure if it's going to be Taken King. Um, just be safe. I'll just put big expansion, expansive <laughs> Big expansive. The the <laughs> cinematic trailer is so expansive. It's just gonna be huge. I can't type for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Big expansion cinematic trailer and news for the uh... yeah for Destiny. Yeah. Big content they've uh, planned. So I think so. Looking, uh, we'll, we'll see something about it. I think that's safe. Activision is very vocal about Destiny usually. I don't think that there will be much about it but there there will we'll be a see little... if they do show something about it, it they will probably see something okay in yeah. terms of um i don't know maybe just 
I don't know what we would see. Maybe just gameplay or something? I feel like if we saw anything, it would be a small little tiny trailer. Probably, yeah. So, that is done. We need to uh, hurry and talk about the patch that happened in Destiny. Yep. Oh my gosh, dude. So, the patch released, patch 1.2.0, and it, you know, it released passage coins into the wild and it also released the queen's wrath into the wild oh man dude so good Mm. basically the queen's wrath has come back each day there's a new wanted target you can go kill the target on the certain area that it tells you and then you get a one and a half minute ether key buff which basically means that there's a chest nearby that you can see 30 seconds yeah in one minute and 30 seconds and you go and you try and find the chest and if you find the chest they have a chance of dropping a treasure key which is useful in the prison of elders to get you rewards in the prison of elders and by rewards in the prison of elders it means like gear as in like the way it works apparently is like you can have as many treasure keys as you want you can only have five on your character yeah but um how it works is like you go through prison of elders you beat it go down to the loot room, you yeah. open it, and then you play Prison of Elders again, beat it, go to the end, go to the loot room, open another chest. So that, that's how it works. You can't just open, uh, like, beat it once, and then you can op- use all your keys right there. No, nah, apparently that's not how it works. Well, what happens... Well, that, I don't fully understand... According to Destin. No, I'm... I'm asking you how you just phrase that because, like, to me, it just sounded like you beat the prison elders and you go down to the room. You have to you beat, beat it consistently. You have to beat it again and again per key. That if you still get... just sounds like you're beating it and getting a key and going down to the room. Okay, every week when you beat prison elders, you get one key. Yes. You also get keys from the chests. Yes. And once you, once you beat a prison elders game, you can use one key. Okay. And if you want to use your more keys, you have to play it again. And if you was another a third key, but play it again. when you beat the prison of elders, you get a key. Yes. So it's just an extra key. It like it like, but I mean after after you, I mean no 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 no, you can only get one key per week. From prison of elders. Okay, so you can just run the prison of elders again with, and then you'll have your little key there. And, yes, uh, from yeah. okay, I got you. Your, that makes sense. Uh, from patrolling. Yeah, know. that that makes sense. I got you. It's like loot locked for the week, but yeah, freaking prison of elders is oh, dude, we are two days away from the new expansion. We were mm-hmm. just talking about this, and I I freaking asked off work. I'm gonna be streaming all day. It's gonna be awesome. Twitch.tv slash games. But yeah, I'm, oh dude, Prison of Elders is gonna be awesome. Freaking Trials of Osiris that weekend. All the new exotics, all the new legendary gear. It's gonna happen. And it's gonna be awesome. I'm very excited. The reef. Just get yeah. to go to a new social space and just hang out. Dude, cool. Kick a new ball around. Hopefully, <laughs> there better be a new ball. <laughs> there better be. Anyways, um, yeah, Destiny. It is. There's freaking so much stuff is happening. Play the Queen's Wrath and get treasure keys. There are ways that you can farm treasure keys. Yep. So do that. Um, I haven't had time to, but uh, if you got time, do it. Go for it. Uh, do you want to talk about shows now? That's uh, yeah. We covered so... Destiny talk fairly quickly, surprisingly. Right. We take normally like thirty minutes for that. Um. Yeah. So this. During our TV talk, we usually spoil some things. Oh, yeah. Um, it's kind of the whole point. <laughs> yeah. Call it a spoiler cast, whatever. Basically. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah. If you don't want to hear spoilers for um, the newest episode of... I'm not going to talk much about Supernatural. Okay. I'll just say... Um, actually, I can just talk about it now. Right yeah, now, that's, that's what I thought you were doing. Um, Supernatural, it's... I'll, I'll try to be vague because I know you, you'll watch it eventually. Um, <laughs> in five years. <laughs> it's... Dude, in five years, it'll, there'll be like 15 exactly. seasons. Exactly. Right? So, and then basically you won't watch never. Ever. Basically never. Stop. 
<laughs> uh, but um, yeah, it's season ten has been great, and um, I try to be vague about it, but like one of the main characters is getting really worse and worse and worse in terms of like basically Felicity style. No, 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 not like that. Oh, like okay. it's a supernatural thing. Ah. Um, so like, just getting like evil. Evil, yes, <gasps> worse and evil. And one of the main characters is basically cursed, and they're becoming turning... the blood-starved beast, basically. Yes, <laughs> that's exactly what's they're happening. They're a hunter because all hunters have beast blood in them. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but yeah. <laughs> totally. So yeah, is that all you want to say about Supernatural? Uh, yeah. One of the main characters is getting worse, and it's awesome, and it's been a great season, and it's gonna end Tuesday. Oh dang! It's gonna be a great day. The Flash is then. Oh, dude. Tuesday Actually, you got. Hold Supernatural. on a second. Freaking Eye Zombie right? moved Supernatural to Wednesday, so never mind. You so, you get like really upset about that when it's just a new time slot. Like, I am upset about it because it's like ten when it comes on or something. I can't. I don't remember. It's a new time slot. You just watch it later. But yeah, it's just every time like, you remember. I don't even remember like Arrow's it. time slot. Every time you remember it, you're like. Crap! It's on Wednesday. Not because Tuesday. I want to watch it with Flash. Because I want to see two awesome things in the same day. Yeah. yeah so. Well, you get Arrow in Supernatural normally. It's the Arrow's just not as good as Flash. It's especially this season. This yes. season. <laughs> okay. Basically, let's talk about the Arrow finale. Segway. Spoilers, <laughs> if you're not. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, that was a pretty pro segment. <laughs> if I do say so myself. <laughs> but Paul Blart. <laughs> Paul Blart. What? Paul, Paul Blart. Segue. Oh, I. Gosh dang. That was a deep cut. <laughs> that was a deep cut. <laughs> um, so the Arrow finale. Spoilers if you haven't watched it. It was interesting. That's about all I have to say about it. Yeah, it was. I think it was good. I it didn't think good, it was bad. I it felt like a series bad. finale. Yeah. It. It wasn't. It. It was definitely not a bad finale. It wasn't a great season. And the finale just sort of solidified that as like, but yeah. Seriously, I think my favorite been. moment of that was the racing. I just can't get over <laughs> I that. I don't understand. Let's try this. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> it's the most hilarious. I... That was freaking okay, weird. You, it you was keep weird. talking about it. I'm going to look it up because it's so funny. <laughs> it was weird. Ray exploding. Uh, does that actually like come up to it? Let me know if it Here. does. Anyways, so uh, the Arrow season finale was like, it, it just wasn't a good season. It solidified that it wasn't a good season. And, like, the... the And because of the way they did everything, like, everything was so weird. As in, like, Oliver can't go back to it. Like, he can't do it. They know it's him. Like, he can't go back to being the Arrow. Like, it's just not possible in this world. Like, they messed everything up. So, the... The finale was just like him and Felicity driving off into the sunset. Yep. Diggle's still upset. And it's think, like, what think, is going on? I'm. Um, How are you gonna do a season four? I'm excited from though this? because if they're doing that, then I feel like maybe we'll start seeing a more uplifting and happy Green Arrow. Yeah, that's Green what that's Arrow. what the uh, producers actually said. That next season, next season is gonna be a, a, a lot lighter of a season. But, yeah, I, I didn't hate the season. Andrew's like, oh, it sucked. It sucked monkey balls. Uh. But, <laughs> yeah. monkey balls. But I, I didn't hate it. I liked Raish a lot as a villain, um, even though some of the stuff he did didn't make any sense. Um, a lot of stuff didn't make any Raish. sense. Speed Force, whatever. Um, so, yeah, it, it was all right. But Wait, the, the finale right. itself was She's good. Dead. And Roy, freaking GG Roy. I am very upset about that. My yeah, favorite character. Roy needs to start. He needs to found the Titans show. If he doesn't, I will be very upset, but he won't because it's different networks. YouTube. Yeah. So, <clears throat> I sent a video. Yeah, well, here we go. Let's watch this. This is the best part of the finale. My personally. Okay. Uh, I, you can scoot back anyway. I just did it closer to where it doesn't... No. I'm going to scoot back a second. I can't 
try. <clears throat> Frick, man. <laughs> Boo. It's freaking weird. He's like, It'll, uh, it never works the first try. And then he just Boo. presses the button and the building blows up. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I don't freaking know. Uh... Oh, man. That, that is something. Also, your camera's messed up. Fixed it. Boom. Yeah. Anyways, that was Arrow. Uh, the Flash was awesome, though. The way Oliver um, showed up made sense, and it was right. good, and the fight scene was really cool. Even though it was, like, four minutes of the entire episode, it was awesome. So, right. That, that's about all I have to say about the Flash. Oh, no, no, no. They found, uh, did they found... Did they find Eddie the week before or this week? They found Eddie um... this week. I don't remember. I'm oh, no, sure. it was this week. Yeah. Yeah, they found him this week. So Eddie's back. Oh, oh, Eddie and uh, Iris broke up. Yeah, because you know, it, it's kind of funny because uh, kind of funny. Um, yeah. Uh, well, okay. So Eddie was like, "Oh, well, the future says that we're not together, so I'm not <laughs> gonna be your girlfriend." Yeah, that was kind of boyfriend. Dumb. I was like, "Dude, you can change time right now because you know the future." It's but, true. That is how it works. But then it would create a paradox and it just mm. blow up the universe and then we have Batman running all over the place instead Batman of Batman is Queen. an ultra villain. That's what season Thanos. four is gonna be. Batman is Thanos, Thanos is gonna <laughs> Thanos is season four arrow villain confirmed. Uh, Marvel villain sense. in the DC. <laughs> Alright, because that makes sense. The but... universes collide. <laughs> <laughs> Spider Man swinging all over the place. <laughs> hey, Oliver, let me help you out, bro. <laughs> all right, anyway. He's Jamaican, all of <laughs> <laughs> It's not what I was going for, but. Oh, man. But, uh... yeah, The Flash was awesome. The finale is this week, and it's going to be really good, most likely, because The Flash has been really good. Right. Um, Flash so, yeah. Point, yeah, oh, yeah. A lot of people are thinking that Barry is going to go back and save his mom basically creating a paradox that makes an alternate universe where Oliver is fine and everything's like reset. Mm. I don't fully think that's going to happen. I think it's possible that some things can, could be altered, but I don't yeah. fully think that's going to happen. I don't know. Everyone's like screaming for it. Cause that would be crazy for that to happen on TV. Right. Like that would be an insane well, event. Dude, I mean, a flash has been crazy itself. So I mean, yeah, you know. never know. You never know, man. Freaking vibrator hand through Cisco. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's that's it, right? Arrow, Flash. Is there anything else that we missed? Um, uh, you know, I've been wanting to say something about House of Cards. Okay. I didn't finish the season because I like binged it and I was like, oh, this is a lot. They're really long episodes too. Yeah. But it's so good. The acting and Netflix quality stuff is just. It's incredible. House of but Cards, man. It, it's very... You have to pay attention to what they're saying in the show. Yeah. And uh, sometimes it's not just a popcorn show. You have to, like, think. Because <laughs> politics <laughs> I hate that sometimes is... Stuff. Oh, there's a little... The, as much as you might think there's politics in it, it's, it's more of a drama. So, yeah. And there's some action and some murder. No, <laughs> a little bit of murder. Yeah, uh, I don't like me some murder. murder. I mean, what? No, I don't. I don't, I don't like that at all. Anyways, um, <laughs> so yeah, I was gonna say, oh, we have. I don't know about Eric anymore, but I've still been slowly going through Star Wars: The Clone Wars. That show is still nope. awesome. You haven't watched any recently? Nope. Rip. It's so good, dude. It's so good. It's really cool. What? What? what how far are you in? Like. Two episodes passed when we last talked about it. Oh, I'm in like season two. I know. Episode four. You should watch some because it's awesome. <laughs> but yeah, freaking watch that show. It's really cool, especially for any sort of uh, Star Wars fan. Star Wars, fan, yeah. It's freaking awesome. I I will stand by that. It's really good. So that's it, right? Um, in other news, Sean's selfie stick broke oh at Kenny Play Live. GG. Rest in peace. GG, rest no in one peace. knows what we're talking about but us. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to throw that in there. Rip and peace selfies. Oh, I have, a, I have a random item this show before we end. Oh. 
I have oh, wait. something too. Anyone in chat? Reckless? Anyone hanging out? You got any questions? Anything? Oh, yeah. Any comments about anything Rhyme that we've said throughout, anyone, the, uh, you know. throughout the podcast? When who's in anything here? about Arrow? Flash? Destiny? Flash House of Wolves? Happening on Tuesday? Sorry. I'm very excited. It's, it, hopefully no, no, no one muted their the stream <laughs> because they might have denied because of spoilers, but who knows? Because I oh, yeah. Tap your head now. <laughs> yeah, I haven't really been doing that. I don't know if Reckless even watches uh, Arrow or Flash. Ah. Grunt does. But Grunt's usually caught up. So. You're right. Oh. oh, dude, I have, like, no time. It's, like, 7.30. GG. Night hey, slash day. I have an hour and a half. Yeah, we, we can do this. And I have to eat. You can do this. Man. And I have to do my Galahorn. I'm not, I'm not like, playing with anyone. No offense. This. Not no. we. Full offense, mate. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. All right. Well, I have my random thing I was going to show. Cocoa butter lotion. Cocoa butter lotion. Cocoa butter lotion. Nice. There it is. It uh, well, helps smooth the dry skin. I mean, uh, for anyone nice. who is an enthusiast in the job market, you know you've probably known of this item. It's it's a very it's fairly called a common. Resume. No, no, it's a fairly common <laughs> item in the job market. Is it a pen? And in our economy, is it I a mean, keyboard? um. No, it's, it's it's a good old one dollar bill. There you go. <laughs> there you go, Mister um, Washington on the front. It's chilling, you know. I we think got, we got Illuminati on the back. Yeah. <laughs> I think we may have reached the bottom of the barrel when it comes to <laughs> Eric's random items. Gosh dang! Yeah, we got good old one. <laughs> oh my gosh! Bottom. <laughs> All right, well, that is it. This has been the Gamer Gents Duo Podcast number 25. I am Find at TBCAC on Twitter. I'm at TBCAC Games on Twitch. Find and you. I am at TBCAC on YouTube. T B E S T I A C. Big facts about Serbia. Th what? A good chat. Three f oh. Some guy um, named Zagri. Zagri. Zag, we're just gonna call him Zag. 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 We... Three facts about Serbia. Okay. Oh gosh. We were wrapping up and he joined the stream and immediately said three facts about Serbia. Go. Eric is Googling. Um it's a, it's in Southeast Serbia and it's a peninsula. <laughs> and the capital is Belgrade. That's two. That's three! Bow, 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 air horns. Alright, well, thank you very much for, for that. Official language Zag. is Serbian. There you go. Oh, I would have never guessed in Serbia that I speak Serbian. <laughs> I think it's in Bulgaria. So, uh, mm. all right. All right. Well, cool. Well, yeah. There's that's Eric's real random item. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Serbia facts. Three facts about Serbia. <laughs> all right. Well, yeah. Uh, Eric is at Eric Bailey fifteen on Twitter. Yep. He's been using it more often, which is good. Yeah. But tune into my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash games, on Tuesday, where Tuesday, May 19th. You're going to be live streaming all day, mate. All day. I'm going to try and go for like eight hours streaming freaking House of Wolves, dude. <laughs> At least. Pizza, it's going to be freaking awesome. I am super excited about House of Wolves. So, yeah, that's it. Yep. Bye. <laughs> Bye.